Now, politics is an ugly game, even at the grassroots level, but it isn't meant to be this ugly. Accusations of intimidation and bullying, and it was all caught on camera. We are feeling threatened, and we're not starting the meeting. No, the OK, I'll move that government to accept no. the following measures. Oh, my God, Culture club confrontations. Everyone sit down. Hey, hey, Mark is assaulting me. Mark's assaulting me. Voting vendettas. Now listen, I told you, you harass her again, Go away, you regret mate. it. Go away, mate. And juice bar hijinks. You are a clown. You're, you're a clown. This is my leader. If you thought battles for the and Liberal I'm leadership at the top of the party Thanks, were ugly, man. then look at the boots going in at the grassroots. In the middle of the mayhem, young Liberal executive team member Matthew Hanna. Matthew, are you a bully? Absolutely not. Nick Lalich harasses and tries to intimidate young women. Do you intimidate people? Absolutely not. Do I look good, Stop Marcus? assaulting my son. Do I look good, Marcus? I would describe Matthew as um, unstable, um, unhinged. Should he be in local politics? <laughs> no. <laughs> a person like that should not be in politics. Midweek in southwest Sydney, and Matthew Hanna arrives with paperwork for a Cabramatta Liberal branch meeting. Hanna's not even a member of this branch, but he strolls in and makes his presence felt. I'm on the list, read it. I'm on the list. Read it. Everyone sit down. Everyone sit down. Hey, hey, you Marcus is assaulting me. Marcus is assaulting me. Oh my god. Marcus is assaulting me. Marcus is assaulting me. Call the police. Call the police. Shut up. You can't go out there and throw a bomb and have this explosive converse, you know, interactions. It's horrible. Di Lee is a former Liberal candidate, but she was there at the meeting. Miss Lee is also married to the Cabramatta branch president, Marcus Lambert, who was involved in the scuffle. Marcus said, that, that's my agenda papers. I had to grab that back. And when he grabbed it back, they were all chasing him. There's a whole bunch of these men chasing him. But Matthew Hanna claims he's the victim. I have a longer video that shows me getting assaulted. Really? Yeah. Well, would you like to see it? He got tackled by Marcus. I would love to see that. Can you show me it? Not at the moment. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's what I figured. From another angle, it's hard to make out any assault as the president grabs the agenda off the table. Minutes later, Hanna is on the front foot, appearing to run the branch meeting with his dad, John, the branch treasurer. No, 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 he's, he's the treasurer. On the agenda, accepting new members into the branch. Who's opposed to this meeting? Who's opposed to members? No. Therefore, the members have been accepted. The members have been accepted. Thank you for coming for this Thank meeting. Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you. We win. Let's go. You're acting like a child, buddy. Have some respect for yourself for the party you represent. At stake, the pre-selection of Liberal candidates for the Fairfield area, including the local council, where Frank Carboni is the independent mayor. Unfortunately, these people seem to bully their way through, uh, taking over branches and trying to put in place policy. No wonder that people uh, have losing faith in political parties. Is this a case of bulldozing your way in and getting your mates ready for pre Which mates? Okay, Absolutely that's a, that's a question. not. Absolutely not. The Liberal Party has a culture where only the finest candidates are pre-selected in a fair pre-selection where everyone can be involved of. That is a Liberal Party culture, a culture I am proud to be a part of. Matthew Hanna is the chat. Young Liberals Community Outreach chat. Director. So we reached out to him Let's about the branch story. bullying allegations. Come on, I am an upstanding person of the Liberal Party. I'm a candidate for the Liberal Party. Exactly. Should a candidate be acting in this manner? In what manner? We also bump into Matthew's dad, John, the Cabramatta branch treasurer. As we catch up with the Hannah clan at another explosive liberal meeting, this time at a local juice bar. No, that's trouble. That's trouble. There's the media. What the hell is going on there? More about the topsy-turvy events that unfold here later. Intimidated. Assaulted someone. That we're intimidated. Continue with the meeting. First, back to that chaotic night at the Culture Club, where Matthew Hanna's membership victory celebration was cut short by officers from Strike Force Raptor from New South Wales Police. It's not the first time the laws had a word with Matthew Hanna. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, 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 o
During a failed attempt to be elected at this year's state election, Matthew Hanna got in the face of Labor's Nick Lulich, making wild allegations. Nick Lulich harasses and tries to intimidate young women. Nick Lulich, what's your response to this allegation? I had a discussion with Matthew's girlfriend regarding Labor Party policy. She took offence at what I'd said, told Matthew, Matthew came down to the polling place, running and raving, screaming at me, there's no truth to, to, the, to the matter at all. Nick Lalich is battling throat cancer and Hannah took the opportunity to ask Lalich's partner, Del, about his estate. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. Are you still in the wheel yet? Why are you still crying you're not in the wheel? Matthew, calm down. Exactly. At times, blobs happen. At times, conversations get heated. Still, it appears wherever Matthew Hanna goes, trouble isn't too far behind. We need an ambulance. Is that on Here he is amongst another Liberal Party meeting outside an Arncliffe chicken kebab shop last year when a bloody dust-up erupted. Perhaps it's no surprise then that Matthew Hanna was denied entry to the Culture Club when he attempted to attend the next Cabramatta branch meeting. Matthew, you're the biggest troublemaker of all. Don't worry about that. Stop making the trouble. But there's little yummy juice bar owner Philip could do to prevent tempers flaring at an impromptu branch meeting called at his place the following week. You lie to the whole community, it's disgusting. As tensions bubble amid the berries, we spot a curious Matthew Hanna filming from afar. You're doing some surveillance, are you? Sorry, do you have a card or something? Oh, here's my camera. Just say good day to a current affair. Matthew. While we chat to Matthew Hanna, across the road, his dad John and branch president Lambert are locking horns. What's going on here? Else. Stop acting like no, I'm not acting Enough. like that, you Enough. clown. We approach branch treasurer John Hanna. John Hanna, Steve Marshall from the current affair. You're an upstanding member of the Liberal Party, aren't you? Oh, I, do you think this is a democratic process that you and your son are carrying out? It looked like you were hijacking a meeting. Yeah, we were hijacking. You, you were hijacking a meeting. Was that an admission? Seriously, is this the future of the Liberal Party, folks? What they saw from that video was a meeting. It didn't look very democratic. Well, democracy is when people vote. That's the democracy. It's not democratic when members are denied a vote. Yummy juice bar owner Phillips lost his appetite. Branch President Lambert legs it. The meeting is closed. We're not going to have it with all this kerfuffle around. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, you really trust And John me. Henner also Absolutely. jets off. Oh, yeah. Watch what you say to me, buddy. I'm trustworthy. You you, Meanwhile, you Matthew Henner says it's just a coincidence Mate, that he's I, in the I area. Was I was just there to get some juice, OK? You were there to get some yeah, juice? I was there to get some juice. <laughs> Thirsty work then for Hannah and his Liberal Party sidekick, Zaya Toma. Yeah, Zaya, what are you doing in all this? I was just here to get some juice. Neither men are members of the Cabramatta branch, yet here they are, making their presence felt outside Phillips Juice Bar. What were you doing at that branch meeting? As I said, any member of the party can attend any branch. It allows for a culture of transparency and openness in the Liberal Party, which I fully support and promote. Later, the pair tell me, helping overthrow the Cabramatta branch president will assist them in holding the Fairfield mayor and councillors to account. This is the unfortunate thing about parties. They've been taken over uh, by people in the background who are determining what should and shouldn't happen rather than listening to the local community. If Matthew Hanna was in your party, would you punt him? Well, we'd be looking very hard to punt him out, making sure he didn't go anywhere within the party, that's for sure. Well, inappropriate behaviour by party members has been raised before the Prime Minister. And a code of conduct is now being drafted. The party's also investigating the members in our story.